Hi everyone and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. This is going to be a Bloody Tales and it's going to be on Mary Beatrice Kenner who was an inventor and is the creator of the sanitary belt which was an elastic belt designed to hold a moisture wicking pad in place. While this product was invented in the 1920s and could have been a revolution revel and a revolutionary alternative for women at the time, racism prevented it. Mary Beatrice Kenner was an African American from North Carolina and while interest was shown in the product, her ethnicity prevented it from being bought because every time she met an interested party, they obviously realised she was African American and interest quickly fell away. It was not until 1956 that the sanitary belt was patented by Kenner and sold. Mary Breaches Kenner was born 17th of May 1912 in Monroe, North Carolina to a family of inventors. Her father, Nathaniel Davidson, invented the pants presser, patented in 1914 as a convenient way for travel salesmen to obviously look presentable while they were doing their jobs. Her paternal grandfather, Robert Fromberger, invented the tricolour light signal uh, for rail to um, assist, obviously, in communication, um, among other things. In addition, her sister, Mary Mildred Davidson, um, also invented various games, and the pair, both sisters together, invented the bathroom tissue roll holder. Kenna was inventing from childhood and during, you know, before she even made it to college, had invented a sponge tip for dripping umbrellas, a portable ashtray and a convertible roof for cars to protect luggage from weather. Um, the portable ashtray was one that like attached to your cigarette pack. I'm not sure why she's invented this in her childhood though. Um, she enrolled in Howard University in 1931, however, was forced to drop out due to financial reasons. Kenner holds the most amount of patents for an African-American woman, even to this day. She has also held a full-time job as a professional floral arranger and owned her own business in the D.C. area in this field. Unfortunately, while a lot of her inventions were useful, none of none proved financially lucrative for Kenner even though she stated that she intended for her designs and patterns to improve everyday life and um, allowing them to take greater control over events that one could not change, like a period or going to the bathroom, it would appear that she faced significant prejudice simply due to her race. Kenna died in DC in January 13th, 2006. Um, Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying uh, the stories that Bloody Tales are bringing. Um, enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the day. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.